Hey, good morning. Uh, this is Paul George, again, coming from the studio. We're gonna do another snow painting. Uh, I've had a lot of requests. People love uh, the big boulders and the, this, the one we did earlier up in Stonington, Maine. So this is another one, another chance to use some really deep, beautiful, dark colors in the background and nice blue, blue, beautiful blue shadows. So I hope you enjoy it. And I wanna wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and a lot of creative energy for next year. Thank you so much. So let's get to this one. Thank you. All right, here's the scene. It's very similar to what we did before. Beautiful, uh, big boulders covered with snow. And watch that. Uh, so get a nice, uh, a nice interesting line here. See where I'm going way down on the right. Create a bunch of boulders. And then, you know, you have the important thing about these boulders is, you know, don't make them all the same. You know, they're similar, but uh, the light hits them differently. So, you know, make some bigger and some smaller, and, you know, some have more snow than others. And then coming down on the right hand side creates a nice sense of rhythm in your painting and you know, going down and up and around. So it's really important to pay attention to that. All right, we'll cover all that in the, as we paint it. So get the tops of those boulders uh, clear where you want to where you want to put them and then we'll paint we'll paint the boulders leaving the snow caps nice and white. some small small trees in the in the field here which is nice casting these beautiful shadows across the field okay people love these love these snow scenes you know they're really beautiful all right we're going to start with some uh i got some phthalo blue here with a little bit of um a little bit of uh, raw sienna in there to gray it down a little bit so it's more of a winter sky and then with taking this very dark color this is ultramarine and I made I made a black almost with quinacridone sienna so you know ultramarine quinacridone sienna and then I charged it up with the with the rose the quinacridone rose and you can see that, you know, you want that rose in the background. It's, it's really a nice color. All right, now you're gonna take a big flat brush and we're gonna create a tree line in the back there. Just basically pulling up our color, you know. Interesting, you put a few trees in now if you want. It's still, that blue is still wet. So, you know, like it's gonna diffuse the color. I'm spraying that, um, Put a little spray on that dark color so that it stays alive and you can work it. All right, and I'm just taking this dark color, that's all the same dark color, ultramarine, quinacridone sienna, and charge it up with rose. And we're just gonna create a tree line in the back there against the sky. And on the right-hand side, we go all the way up. All right, and then we take the big brush again, go across the whole thing, creating another, another layer of bushes and trees. You know, just take your time with that. All right, we're gonna paint the boulders here. I'm using the same color, ultramarine blue, quinacridone sienna, and uh, rose. And you can see this, this place is on the boulder where the light is hitting it. So I'm leaving that like this one here with this, that's quinacridone sienna. And I'm leaving that uh, a little brighter so it shows where the light is hang, hitting it. And then notice how I'm painting around the snow caps. That's important, you know, where the white is. I'm, I'm, I'm closing up on that for you, getting a close up, painting around these rocks. Don't make them all the same. It's a common error with students, you know. 
So here's a bunch of small rocks that look the same, but we're going to paint the dark differently so that the snow is covering them differently and giving it a more interesting sort of look there. And then we have in the field in front of those, we have other boulders. So I'm placing these boulders and then I'll paint the shadows on them and around them and leaving the white tops where the light is hitting the top and shadow where the shadow is hitting. All right, so that's the boulders on the right hand side of the painting. Notice how it comes down that slope on the light. All right, you can also, you know, you spray that paint, the dark side, so you could scrape out, take a credit card, scrape out a tree here and there. You can make them birch trees, which are always very beautiful and people love. And if, you know, if you scrape it out too big, just go back in with a dark color and, you know, create that right size. All right, we're going to put the shadow on the rocks now. This is just ultramarine with a touch of uh, phthalo blue. And on the side here, the, there's a light, very light shadow hitting the side of this little crest. I'm using a little bit of raw sienna there. I'm sorry, not raw sienna, but rose. Tiny bit of rose in the blue, you can see that. That's phthalo blue I'm dropping on there. <clears throat> All right, so there's some shadow on the back there, behind these rocks. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's some shadow there shadow in the front of this boulder in the front of these boulders I'm giving you a close-up here so I'll back off a little bit you can see where the shadow is it's hitting the rocks but it's casting a shadow on the side <clears throat> And you, you can vary that, you know, that, that's a phthalo blue, little ultramarine, and a drop of rose here and there really, really helps, really makes it nice. I apologize for that streak of light up on the top right. Didn't even notice it. That's coming in from my, my window. The sun is coming in. Sorry about that. And just take your time with the shadow now. You're painting the caps, leaving white, leaving a little bit of white here and there on the caps so that they, it looks like the white is bounce, the light is bouncing across there. And then you have a shadow, all these boulders and trees on the right are casting a shadow onto the field. So we'll, you can see there's a little phthalo blue there, very bright, mixing in some rose softening the edge of that shadow with some rose. Very beautiful uh, shadows. Uh, we're going to put those trees in. Uh, the key to, you know, placing these evergreen trees, keep, paint them in the sections. You can see those three sections very clearly in that small tree. And then you have that deep dark uh, of the earth underneath that tree. The branches are reaching up towards the light and they're nice and dark so they work well against that white snow okay there's another one over here maybe add a little bit of color to it as well you know a little bit of uh, maybe quincyana or raw sienna just a little bit a little bit of color in the middle of all that dark dark trees you know some leaves or branches sticking out there's another one over here just some small you know, little pieces of leaves and shrubbery still dark towards the earth. Then you may want to put some branches, you know, just popping out of the snow, you know, and uh, just put some, some uh, twigs on there and maybe a few uh, stubborn leaves that hung all winter and, and it casts a nice shadow a nice shadow onto the snow. So the shadows are beautiful. You know, just use a, whatever shadow color you like, you know, ultramarine, phthalo blue, little cobalt blue. 
It's beautiful to use a combination of blues and your shadows for snow, you know. There's a lot of reflective light and a lot of changes. And then down at the bottom here, you want to do the same thing, some nice shadows, throw a little rose in there. Just really, you know, bring it all together. All right, go back, you can put some, some more shrubbery behind the boulders. Maybe some cad red right out of the tube to put some winter berries in there. And then lastly, most important, you know, really important is to have some trees coming up in front of those boulders, which really pushes the boulders back. And then some, some twigs growing out, okay? All right, I hope you love that one. That was beautiful. I love this scene and people love it. Thank you, this is the final painting. Thanks for watching and have a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you.